very blessed day, everyone. Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Creator, the Most High, Allah, Yaha, Yodhe, Elohim, the Netter of Netta, God in her modern day name, Kodawish, 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 Yodhe, Vahuhe, Sebajot, Kodawish, 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 Elohim, Sebajot, and in the name of the Lord Thoth, Melchizedek, Yohewa, Adonai, Kodawish, 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 Adonai, Sebajot, this is Leo Fight DAG, bringing you another message. The Black Jew, Rothschild, aka Relen Boher, family, you hear me? The Rothschild, that's not their real name. The real name is Boher, family. That's the name of that family. The money changers, the usurpers of Balak and Bal. That's who they are. They're black Jew, not proud to say what they were doing. But I am telling you, I have to give you the good and the bad at the same time. I can't miss out anything given unto you in Job 9 verse 24. Turtle Island, which is Earth called by the indigenous people of America, the copper color skin, brown skin race people, Earth is given into the hands of the wicked, the eagle, eagle which took over, the Caucasians, the AKA white people, giving you all kind of bad information, which covers the faces of the people of color that were doing good and bad things all across the planet. When the Gentile, Esau, the Caucasians took over, they had to take the good things you were doing and the bad things you were doing to make sure they covered your tracks. The earth, America, is given, was given, still given, and will be taken from them soon. Given into the hands of the eagle, the wicked, he covereth the faces. Job 9 verse 24. When you do the numbering for it, six it equal. Same as six, six, six. That's the person sending him the energy and the power. Six. We'll get into that soon. First, Maccabees given unto you as well. I laid open the book of the children of Israel. Your holy Bible. That's the book that was opened up in 1 Maccabees 3, verse 48. And in that book of the law, your law, children of Israel, that you should not be a money changer. You should not be a usurer. Wherein the wicked that took over Turtle Island tried to paint the likeness of their image in your Bible. Same thing they did to your Bible. Same thing they did to your history book. Job 9 verse 24, matching up with 1 Maccabees 3 verse 48, giving you back when you do the numerology for it. 6 equating your back to 666. Someone running around with that 666 carbon element number. That's the number of the atomic element, carbon, meaning it's six, belonging to a man, and he's vibrating at six. He's a carbon vibrating being, vibrating at 666 terahertz. That's his vibratory power. And children of Israel, right now, you need to move out from that vibration number to nine, 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 not a nine, nine, nine. Flip upside down to give you a six, six, six. Giving you a six for a nine. That's done with people. But these are the ones who are vibrating in that red six, six, six. 
vibratory field. Genesis 25, verse 25. Tell your Esau, he's vibrating in red. He's the one that came, gave all kind of trouble to his brother Jacob, which is the people of the United States of America, the indigenous copper colored people, taken over by Esau, the Gentile, the Caucasian, the Japhetite, giving you that red color Esau. Ah, oh, who's giving him his power? Revelation 6, verse 4, the wicked. Dragon, a.k.a. Dagon. When you remove the R from dragon, giving you that red color. Lucifer and friends vibrating in ultra red, red, extreme red, vibratory scale. That's who they are. Vibrating on the lower fourth dimension and on the second dimension. You children of Israel, you my people of this planet, you are vibrating in orange color, your vibratory field for the third dimensional plane. That's your vibration. You're not vibrating at red, but he did everything to bring you down to a red color. Time the most I said, my children moving back to their color above red. Orange, yellow, green, two shades of blue, regular blue, indigo blue, ultraviolet, and violet. That's what you're moving back to. But going back to Job, Revelation 13 verse 18, tell you about that numbering. You're going to get pulling you down to 666 to match those that are in red in Genesis 25 verse 5 and as well as Revelation 6 verse 4 dragging you down to match their color number of man it's not of a man the number of man it's not of a man it can be of a man that one man that signifies himself outrightly as red but we'll get to him soon number of man six 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 bringing you back to that same man running up and down in job 9 verse 24 changing up information painting over pictures and images to look like him when he wasn't there at all doing none of these things he's claiming he was doing six 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 that's the number given unto him that's the number he gave himself. And this is the man that's personifying the rulership of that number given unto him by the one vibrating in red in Revelation 6 verse 4. Dagon, Lucifer, the dragon, give him that number when you do the numbering for his name. Vicarios, Filié, De. That's what you get. 666. 112 for Vicarios. 53 for Philae, DA, give you 501, you add them all together, you get 666. That's the Roman Catholic Pope title, Vicar of Christ, as he call himself, when you translate Vicarius, Philae, DA, to English, Vicar of Christ, Vicar of the Son of God. Nobody no make him, no Son of God. Nobody no make him, no replacement Christ. There you cannot replace the spiritual energy coming from the most high. Christ is not a person, it's an energy connected to the word Christos, which means breath, breath of life. That's what it is. But we're going to say that for the other messages that I've been giving you. Moving forward. Revelation 2 verse 14. Because you have among you, O children of Israel, been taught the doctrine of Balaam. We're going to decode some word today. Balaam. That's the priesthood of Mahan. Given to you by Benelli and Cain. And who taught you? By Balak. They give Balak the information verse. Balak means cabal. When you descramble the word. The Bible been warning you. Who is going to come and give you all kind of stumbling blocks. And change up your image. Give you bad information. Bad food. Bad religion. Bad economics. Bad social. But political and take away your money, sending you all kind of money changers and all kind of usurers. When the most I say, 
usury, money changing against my law. Cabal, B-A-L-A-C is C-A-B-A-L. When you go to your Webster Dictionary, 1828, secret art, secret Art, art is knowledge and wisdom gained from experience. That's what they're giving you. Some secret knowledge, artifices, that's what they call it, artifices, art. Artful, ingenious devices, ingenious, wicked thing. Anything is a vice, it means it has a bad purpose of it. Ingenious, bad purpose. In a good sense, no. In a bad sense, that's how you're getting your cabal. With trick and fraud. That's what Kabbal in your dictionary is telling you. He's being given unto you in Revelation 2, verse 14. Balak, Kabbal, giving you wickedness with trick and lies of a few men united in one purpose to come lie to you and give you stumbling block and give you all kind of money changing and usury which goes against the laws of the most High. Cabal, this name is the initial, the last name initial of these people, five people that came and give you all kind of secret doctrine of how to rob the children of Israel of all their money. Even though these men were black people and were Jew. Jew robbing Jew. I'm telling you children, not all Israel is of Israel. You have some of Israel that are taskmasters. They went and joined themselves up with the heathen, but we'll get to them soon. Going back to this, who taught Balak? Balaam taught him. Mahan, priest of Mahan, a.k.a. Mabal, that is Balaam. Mabal, that is Balaam, who taught the cabal to stumbling block you, oh children of his well, Revelation 2 verse 4 telling you, putting all kind of things for you to eat, making you weak of mind, bad things, giving you bad thoughts and bad vibration and bad health unto you. I'm giving you Jesus. Why Jesus? To make you fill up with stumbling blocks and to commit all kind of sexual fornication putting you against the law of the most high. But at the beginning, I'm telling you, Balaam, 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 Balak, and Baal come give you instructions given to you and prepared for you by the wrath child. Revelation 2, verse 20. Because you, O oh children of Israel, put up with and allow this woman, this Jezebel, which is the Roman Catholic Pope, to infiltrate your lifestyle and your life way and your livelihood, which call herself a prophetess. What? Vicar of Christ. Vicar for nobody. Who made her vicar over you? Not at all. Not the most uh, self-proclaimed. Given unto her. Given unto the Pope. By Lucifer. A.K.A. Dragon. A.K.A. Dagon. To teach you. And to seduce you. To commit fornication. To eat all kind of negative energy. Everything should give you. His negative Full of evil. No good for you. Go against the instruction given unto you by the Father. And she makes a sacrifice to idols. Oh, how many of your children of Israel have Jesus' statue hanging up in your house? And the most I tell you, no idol of wood, metal, stone up in your house or up in your neighborhood. But she giving you all those things to say, go hold on upon it. It is good. It's not good. Not at all good for your children of Israel. First Kings 16 verse 31. I'm telling you, this Jezebel is up in your life in America, running it behind the scenes, giving Ahab, which is another code for the Caucasian Europeans in America, ruling now as the elites, Set up by Lucifer and Vicar of Christ. 
He, Ahab, married to Jezebel. He spiritually connect himself to Jezebel, the Roman Catholic Pope. That's why it said, America, those elites running up and down, giving you all kind of changed up document, married and made his wife Jezebel, the Jesuit priest, Ringing the altar bell in the altar bell procession. You put the two words together. Jesuit and bell. Jezebel. The daughter of who? <laughs> it's Baal. Baal giving you information as well. Lies and turn the rock child loose on the children of Israel. Even though they are of Israel. They are not Israel. We'll get into that soon. And Israel and Israel and Jezebel and Ahab, the Eurocentric, the elite Caucasian in America, worshiping who? Baal, who they are serving. That's why I tell you, Baal, turn loose the wrath child on you. Jeremiah 32, verse 35. You, who oh America, you, oh Jezebel, Roman Catholic Pope, Set up all kind of altars, all kind of obelisks for Baal in America. What they did, they built high places of Baal. Those high places, those towers and obelisks and all those shrines that you see looking innocent. No, they are not. They are possessing and carrying negative energy across the planet. But that's not what we're here to discuss. To cause the sons of God, the children of Israel and Jacob and their daughters to pass and to sacrifice their kids unto Baal and Molech through these sacrifices and these offerings and these burnt offerings they're doing in these high places, high altars set up for Baal. Again, the Rothschild were turned loose by the vicar of Christ on you to represent Baal who's going to take away all your economics. Children of Israel were not done yet. Which I commanded you not to do these things. They are an abomination to you, Israel. Judah, you're not supposed to do that. Judah, that's the strong people of color in leadership role. You're not supposed to join up with the Gentile and the vicar of Christ. Set up the altar in America contributing the energy to Molech sacrificing kids in blood sacrifice not at all done well with that first kings 21 verse 25 Ahab which is American elite Caucasian which did sell themselves to do works of wickedness changing up the images of the people of color that were there before them 1924 they officially got permission to start changing up record. Change up everything in the sight of the Lord. Whom who? Jezebel gave him that authority. Gave him that encouragement. Guess up him head to come stir up all kind of trouble to the children of Israel. They came. First Kings 16 verse 30. Ahab, they did what? Evil in the sight of the Most High and the Lord are more evil, more evil, more evil than every other person of color that was ruling America. Before him, this Caucasian man that stepped in 1924 when he officially got rulership did more wickedness than all the black leaders. People, people from George Washington all the way up to 1924, they were all black president. Not asking you, not suggesting to you. Go do your records, research. You get the answer that you need. I have done enough messages stemming from George Washington all the way up to who? All the way up to who? Robert E. Lee time, all the way up to who? Abraham Lincoln time, and they were all black people. People of color, but they were from Europe, thought that they were elite. The Israel that is not of Israel who come to rule over the other children of Israel that was already on the land of America. The indigenous people to America. But who come? The Caucasian Hayab came and did more wickedness than those who came before him. Wicked as wicked as can be. Numbers 22 verse 41. Here we go talking about Balak. 
Not a one-off mentioning of Balak. Balak now is with a K at the end instead of a C. But it's still the same. Balak with a K or Balak with a C. Balak did what? It came to pass. It occurred. It did occur in the morrow, which is now the starting time leading up to your time of life. That Balak, which is the Kabbal, two ways of looking at Kabbal. C-A-B-A-L, we already covered that one. That word was stolen from K-A-B-A-L, which represent the Kabbalah, the original Kabbalah. But the wicked one came and used your information, change it up, make it for an evil purpose. They changed Kabbalah, which is the offshoot of Kabbalah, which is the offshoot of Kabbalah with the C, which is the offshoot of Kabbalah with the C and two Bs added to it. But it all deals with secret matters of spiritual nature. And then they change it from the secretness and the mystery art, the mystery knowledge, and they made it into Kabbalah. That's their evil version of it. Kabbal, which talks about secret fraud and wickedness. So they change it from a secret, esoteric Jew philosophy to an evil fraud of wickedness device to trick you. That's what they did. So Balak, who did that, took Balaam, Mabal, and brought him up to the higher place, which is the lower fourth dimension, where Baal is hanging out, and Baal is that principality in high places, doing wickedness, as given unto you in Ephesians 6, verse 12. Our battle is not with man. Your battle is not with flesh and blood, with man or woman, but it's with principalities, spiritual beings in lower fourth dimension practicing all kind of wickedness. They were kicked out of upper heaven, upper fourth and above and they're confined, locked up, locked up in lower fourth and they decide we're gonna give all kind of mischief as we can give. Call ourselves Baal, which is a cold word for behemoth, when you see it in your Bible. Behemoth, when you see it in your pseudepigrapha. Behemoth, that's Baal. They're up there giving trouble, and I'll give you some more on that. Baal, and he's at the utmost, the furthest part that you can go as a flesh living in the spirit. You can go only up to the lower fourth. It's called borderland. You go there every night when you are sleeping. And if you join up with these evil ones with their limited ability, they can take you to other regions within borderland, but you're not going anywhere special. It's not upper fourth nor fifth, which has the real spiritual essence to be given unto you. You are sons of God. You don't need no introduction and a running up and down in the lower fourth that you can run up and down in when you're sleeping. You need higher spiritual expression and that going back to the holy breath. Fifth dimension, all the way up to the ninth, but that's what Kabbalah and Mabal and Baal come give to you and turn loose the wrath child on you. Baal! Don't know what Baal is? Let me break down Baal for you. You got to split the word into B-A and A-L. B-A, Barium. That's the B-A, barium. That's the atomic element, barium. A-L, the atomic element, aluminum. Put them together, bal. What is barium? Aluminum. It's an agent, a nanoparticle that they spray in your sky every day to keep you under the control of bal. So your Bible was telling you, Baal is going to be in high places, the uttermost places, and he's going to send for Kabbal and made Baal to come do his dirty work and shut down all these gases on you. Priest of Mahan, that's the Balaam. Priest of Mahan, that's the Balaam. That's the joining of Benelli. He's the son of Lucifer, the first begotten son of Lucifer. He had Lucifer through Eve. Not going to go into that one. I already covered that one. That's Mabel, the priesthood of Mahan. And Kabbal, we just covered that. That's those man that set up themselves with secret doctrine of fraud and evil. 
and they're executing this evil on the children of Israel every day. Your sky doesn't look like this, people. This is not natural formation. They're telling you, hit contrail. Planes are not flying that low and in that crisscross pattern like you're running an airport right there. No! One plane might pass through. You see that contrail and then that's it. Another two hours, another one will pass and the first one, widespread, has dissipated, is gone. One spray at a time. You won't see these multiple sprays across your sky. Bye! As your Bible has been warning you. So now let man come tell you nothing about no country. Ball! It's called chem trail that ball is doing from the uttermost part of your sky. Here he is again in his high places spraying these things, making man through the cabal get into these planes and spray your sky with all kind of chemicals of aluminum and barium. That's what he's doing. Bal, barium, aluminum. He's been spraying your skies for the longest, keeping your energy and your vibration very low so you can be more controllable and he can do whatever he wants and put whatever he wants in that substance he's spraying to get you to be compliant or to vanish you if he wants to vanish you. But... Since 1991, when they did a study all the way to 2000, he has been spraying it in the sky. They call it, they call it, Ahab in America call it geoengineering. They're engineering against global warming. There is no global warming, people. Your spiritual son is coming to you and heating up your DNA and RNA to transform you. Make sure you can fit your new wine in your new bottle, your new blood in your new new spiritual battle that's your global warming coming to you and this man is trying to prevent it from spraying the sky to suppress your energy field which is supposed to get that new blood and that new wine giving you a new bottle but fancy word geoengineering it is chemtrail people of aluminum and barium of barium and aluminum Bal. That's what he's been doing. Not a one-off. It's been reported over and over and over. Chemtrail, barium, aluminum, poison is ruining Rhode Islanders' health. Telling you over and over. Look up, as the article tell you. Look up in your sky and notice these things that your military plane are spraying in the sky of Baal. Giving them barium. Aluminum, Baal giving them. And he's again going to set loose on you the Rothschild to come rob you of whatever is left of you after he fully give you your barium and your aluminum called chemtrails. Chemtrail is aluminum. Barium is also found in that chemtrail. Heavily sprayed area. Full up of barium, been telling you over and over. Again, he tell you, market insider, aluminum dust from geoengineering. Fancy word, now make that fool you people. Now make it fool you. Poisoning your ear. Ball! In his uttermost part of the ear. In the uttermost part of heaven. His lower version of heaven. The author discovered that unprecedented level. Never before seen levels of aluminum and barium nanodust found in your ear. After this man done spraying all of your sky. U.S. Air Force spraying your sky. All kind of military with unmarked plane. Plane of no tail number. Swaying up things in your sky. Chemtrails are not contrail. They are the evil faces of Bala. Again, doctors been writing and telling you. So it's not just, as they say, conspiracy theorists, doctors, PhDs, and MDs, all kind of people telling you the same thing. Your Bible telling you the same thing. So if you want to, continue listening to a man or listen to the most that, that tell you, Baal is going to come. He's going to send Cabal and Mabel to come give you all kind of poison. Moving forward, educate yourself, children of Israel. Your records have been changed. All kind of tampering has been done. And they're giving you a chemtrail to keep your very docile, calling it geoengineering. To these trails, 
these trails expand and cover your whole sky with what? Toxic brew of chemical, mainly aluminum and barium. Barium, aluminum. That's your sky filled with that again, given unto you by Kabbal, Balaam, and Baal. Numbers 22, verse 41, tell you. First Kings 18, verse 19, tell you. All the house of Israel to the Mount of Carmel, to the Mount of Carmel, to the Mount of Carmel. That's your land of milk and honey, children of Israel. Your honey is in your pineal. It has a yellowish color. And Carmel has a yellowish color. That's your pineal. And the prophets of Baal, you come with no Mount Carmel. So, Israel. When you now are being turned back on to get your new wine in your new bottle, your pineal, your caramel, your land of honey, switching back on, and you're going to be facing off with who? The prophets of Baal. It's coming, people, when they're going to get an introduction to your strength. So all I'm telling you now is just to inform you because you will be tearing down everything of Baal. Balaam and Balak, you're tearing it down. And you're going to tear down what the Rothschild, your Jewish brothers and sisters, set up, tearing all of it down. So we we'll get the prophets of Baal, 450 of them. 450, that is what? 4, 5, 4 plus 5, equal 9. And then we covered already that 9 is 666, six, six, equal 18, equal 9. Same number. So he's coming with his vibratory field of six to come fight with you in your vibratory field of a true nine. Revelation 21. Tell your children of Israel, you're going to number 144,000. When you get back, your body of an angel, an orphan him. One plus four plus four equals the true nine. The number of an angel. So no match is this prophet of Baal against you when you come back with your full powers. Switch back on with who? Prince Louis, King Louis at that time. So Baal, he's going to come with his 666 crew coming back with a 9. But they're not true 9. They're giving you 6, masking it for a 9. And they're coming back with what? Prophet of groves, all these divinitors and scribes and Pharisees and secret order put together by the vicar of Christ. They're coming back to challenge you. But it's no contest, people. None at all. They're eating from Jezebel table, the Roman Catholic table. So they're coming ready to fight against who? The people of Mount Carmel, which is all of Israel. True Israel, when you wake up at that time and get back your body of life, children of Israel, the love of money, the love of money, the love of the mark is the root, the cause of all evil. You've been told over and over, children of Israel, First Timothy 6 verse 10, the love of money is the root of evil. And my children, Stay away from the money. I never give you none of that. In the beginning, it makes you covet, lust after things that you really don't need, but you think you need it. So you do all kind of things to get money, to do it, and it makes you error. It makes you stumble and stray from the true purpose of you, the true faith, the true belief, the true principle, the true plan of the Most High and of the Lord. And who encouraging you? Revelation 13. It tell you who come and deceive you. This second beast, this second nation of the eagles that come up in earth, which is North America, given unto you, where the generic, where the original, copper color people are living. This man come set up in thing in earth and he had two horns like a lamb but he spake like a dragon Dagon sent him vicar and his friends 
coming over, encouraging the early settlers to come set up themselves as they gone. And at this last time, he put the power in Esau hand, the Caucasian hand, and they took rule starting early 1900 and they're ruling up until 2024 when them whole thing gonna get torn down this eagle exercised all the power of the first beast which was set up in the sea single european act that's the eurocentric nations of europe seven of them and it caused in america them to worship the system that is set up already in europe so america is being run from Europe, that's where the Rothschilds are, and that's where the vicar of Christ is. Deceiving America, all kind of things, power given to him to rule over America. He set up images, set up statues, set up structures, all kind of things for you to worship. But what I want you to pay attention to, verse 16 of Revelation 13, he caused all, both small in stature, small in position, and great rich people, powerful people, poor and rich, to set up themselves with a mark. That's where the Rothschilds are coming in. They're masters of this mark. A mark in your right hand, which is your political hand, and in your forehead, which is your thought, your thought of the most die, your moral thoughts. That's where he set up that mark to control what you do politically, what you do in your thoughts. And if you control those, he's going to control your left hand, which is how you social yourself, how you set up your social structure. He's going to control your feet in verse 17. We're going to get to that soul. And no man or woman might buy or sell except that he had that mark. Mark, we're going to get to that soon. Don't rush your children of Israel. We're going to get there. And the name of that nation or that number has to be given unto you before you can do anything in earth, which is America. That's the number. It comes back to 666. But as I told you, if you add all those numbers together, you get 18 and when you get 18 1 plus 8 equal 9 we're gonna get to that soon till portion 71 verse 12 tell you again about that mark the mark of the beast and the number of his name and these are the things which pertain to gold silver which is money and the possession of those who dwell in america Giving you back here that mark is money and economics. That's your feet in your five divine law that he took full control of with that mark. Economics and money has given again unto you by seal portion 71 verse 12 in your second stick. But we're not done yet. Children of Israel, Nahum 3 verse 16. You shall multiply. You, O oh America, has multiplied, has increased, has exalted, has made all kind of profit of your merchants above the sons of God which are in America, living here right now. That's what it's telling you, Nahum 3, verse 16. You, America, you multiply, you big up, you increase, you give all kind of props to your merchant, which are your big corporation, your big bank, your money changer, and your usurers, those who are profiting of everybody else, keeping it for themselves, and you do that above the stars of heaven, even though the book tell you you're not supposed to do that, your Bible tell you you're not supposed to do that, but you do it anyway. Canker worm, which is that war that's coming on America land soon. You're going to have a civil war 2025 to 2026. And you're going to have a world war during that time as well. Coming as the canker worm to spoil your land and then fly back to Europe after they're done. Telling you over and over. Revelation 13 verse 16. Give you that mark in your right hand and your forehead and you can't buy yourself nothing in verse 17. That's the number that you got. 
the mark that you got is a Q-sip. That's a <laughs> children of Israel, children of Israel. This thing go deep, but I got to give you drip by drip. This is what the rough child, you black Jew, helped to set up to make sure that your brothers and sisters are kept under the boot heel of the cabal for the rest of their life until different, till the most I said, all of that dalios mash up. Q-sip number given unto you, we're gonna discuss that. But Q-sip number, again, it's always nine digits for your Q-sip number. That's why the number is 666, which is 18, one plus eight equal nine, nine digit. That's the Q-sip number. Nine digit, always nine digit. That's a Q-sip given unto you. You don't know it's a Q-sip, but now you know. You don't know, but now you know. This man has been running the Rothschild scheme in the background, ripping you off of all your economics, no matter which way you go. Q-sip number, what is that? Committee? On uniform securities identification procedure, that's what you are. You are a securities, a bond, especially. QCIP, nine digits. Think I'm making it up? U.S. government and state municipality issue bond, and they put your identification number on those bonds. QCIP number consists of nine characters. You hear me? QCIP numbers consist of nine characters. You think I was joking when I tell you it is 666 equal 18, 6 plus 6 plus 6 equal 18, 1 plus 8 equal 9. Your QCIP number, your mark is 9. Go look on your birth certificate if you don't believe me. You hear me? Go look at your birth certificate. One in front of you from New York as a sample. That's where your QCIP number is. That R number 00386 and the rest of the number altogether consists of nine digits, nine characters. This man isn't joking. Him set up in Rothschild scheme all over the planet, all over. San Francisco, no different. Look at where they are pointing. That's your Q-sip number as well. Nine digits set up for the children of Israel. That's your mark. He even set it up as well for the Gentile. Your mark given unto you at birth. That's where your number is assigned to you. Your Q-sip number, your mark of 999. Again, Texas birth certificate, nine digit. Is it coincident or this coincident keep happening all across your nation? If you look in Jamaica, if you look in Caribbean countries, if you look in the UK, if you look in Asia, nine digit for everybody. Number, not one slippage with no eight digit or seven. They all nine. The man set it up universally. Nine number for Texas. But we're not done. After your mother give birth to you in a foundling hospital, which is somewhere where you go to drop off abandoned children, but they never tell you your mother is abandoning you, even though that's not her intention. But because she walked into a foundling hospital, you are considered lost, left at the foundling hospital in a ward. You're a ward of the state that you're born in because your mother walked in a foundling hospital and give birth to you. You're immediately given a Q-sip number, a nine-digit number, and your mother put on your live birth paper that you were given by her, the informant, the informant. You informed on your child that you're leaving that child abandoned in a foundling hospital. So so oh, the Rothschild plan kick in to give your child a Q-sip number. Your child is officially lost at sea, lost at sea, waiting to be taken back when he or she reaches a certain age to claim themselves not lost at sea. And then you're left from the hospital. You walk up in the social security administration.
Station office. Let me have a social security number. I need a number. And they say, yes, come right in. We're ready, we're ready to give you a social security number. One more QCIP number. Giving unto you more investment can be made with that QCIP number. One more security taken out with that QCIP number. How, how, how many digits is that social security number? Nine digits. Another nine cues given unto your children of Israel, but we're not done yet. We're not done. Warming up. Flip over the back of your social security card. On the back of it is another nine digit number. Two securities set upon you for that one thing that you did. You went in for social security. You get some numbers yet. Two of them. Two different investments running in your name at the same time. One number on the front, they tell you that's your identification. For the dead person that left that hospital dead, that's your number right there. And at the back of your social security number, that is the Rothschild number for your investment vehicle, your security identification procedure number given unto you by these characters processing you as a dead person. But we're not done. Rothschild plan, we're not done with it as yet. The United States money investment with your number at the back of your social security card. That's your Rothschild worldwide investment number. I tell you, children of Israel, the number is nine digits. And the first letter of the nine digit, the nine character, your choosing first letter matches up with one of the 12 districts of the Federal Reserve. And it's in, and on this example, it is E. Look at the back of your social security. See what the first letter, match it up with the right hand side of your screen. That is the location administering your Rothschild number. Given back unto you by the most high. E on this one. We got Richmond, Virginia. Running up and down with your investment. And if you don't believe, look at your paper money. And see the letter printed on the face of it. That also is the Federal Reserve that administering, that issued that money with your information associated with it. Children of Israel. This Rothschild plan go deep. These are all the territory running up and down with your Rothschild number. Having all kind of information on you without you having any say in it. But we're not done yet. We're not staying too long on that. Haggai 1 verse 6. Yee, oh children of Israel, I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Children of Israel, you have so much, but you bring home little. You hear me? You eat, but you can never be full because this man keep boxing our food off your table. You drink, but you can never quench your thirst. Never be filled. You try to clothe yourself, but you cannot stay warm. This man cut off every livelihood for you. None shall come and make you whole. Except the Lord, don't Melchizedek, Jehovah. He, those people, you, those people, earn wages. Wages is the only thing that you work with your two hands. You work with your hard labor, the sweat of your body, the hands that you have. You put them to work. You don't sit around and wait for no interest, none of funds from no trust that is called earned income that is not wage wage is what you work with your own hand that's what your bible says work with your own hand everything you earn you put it in a bag with holes you ever put money in a bag with holes what happened the money gone you hear me again you ever put money in a bag with holes that's what you have been doing this man has set up his Rothschild plan to put Money in your pocket, but holes in your pocket. He dropped right back in his hand. The money can't stay in your neighborhood. The money can't stay in your pocket. The money can't stay among your people. It is gone. And those who do get the money, they can't spend it back 
in your Jacob, Israel neighborhood because that man is going to come in and take them out of his system. Rob them of all their money and they don't want to live without money. But children of Israel, this is coming to an end. I'm telling you this only to let you know what is and what shall not be because this is done once we come back in i told you about that face off between the children of light coming with the balam people and the bal people and the cabals facing off with the children of light and it's a losing battle this cusive thing is going to end hey must eight verse six that we may buy the poor for silver we who are buying, the money changers, the usurers, the usurers, we're going to get into that. That's the Rothschild plan set up for you. May buy with what? Your QCIP number, trade your security or your bond via your nine digit number of the poor. Yes, they've counted you lost and dead at sea, cannot be found. So you immediately become poor, a poor person. A person is an artificial entity set up for someone who is lost. Sell you for silver. Why silver? Silver is real money. Paper money is a debt note. It is not real money. And when you see it in your bank account, they put one strike through the S. That is debt money, fake money. Whenever you see double line through an S, that is real money, which is silver or gold. You can take that paper money and convert it to real money with the two crosses. So your bank account is now in that S with one cross. If you go in and say, listen, Mr. 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 Teller or Mr. Clerk, can you change my account over to have the S with the two cross? Watch their head spin backward on them. They're going to do everything to convince you you can't do it. But that's when you say, my account now, I want it in real money, silver or gold, not in debt money, fiat debt money. Fiat means fake money set up by government. That is your paper dollar you have now in your pocket. Real money, silver and gold. That's real money. So when they are transacting in your QCIP number, they make sure they get real money. They don't want that greenback paper money, fake money, fiat dollar money. And the needy, they sell for economic wealth. That is shoes. Shoes you put on your foot as given unto you in the prodigal son with the most I say. Put a robe on that man, Israel. Put a robe on Israel. Give you back your kingship. Put a ring on Israel. Give you back your social power. Put shoes on his foot. That's what the most I gonna do for you. You hear me? Put shoes on his foot. But now you're being sold for a pair of shoes. You're being sold for their economic wealth. They're wearing the shoes now and your time to wear the shoes coming back up. And they sell the refuse, things they don't want, the bad food, the bad product, the bad everything, the wasteful thing that is not fit for anyone. They sell it onto you at a high cost and you don't know that they're selling you refuse. Things they turn down, they reject it, it's worthless. And they say, let's give it to you. That's what they have been doing. And that is what the Rothschild plan has set up for their fellow Jewish people. Again, not all Israel is of Israel. Don't you know, children of Israel? Don't you know, Jacob? The charging of interest. The charging of interest. You sir. For money loaned is against the laws of the Most High and of the Lord. Don't you know, children of Israel, the charging of interest when the bank lend your money and charge your interest is against the Most High law. You serve that's what it's called, children of Israel. I'm the Rothschild, the Rothschild, I'm the Rothschild, I'm the Rothschild. I'm Jew, so they should know this law. Deuteronomy 23, verse 19. Thou, O Israel, thou, O Jacob, thou, the tribe of Judah, shall not lend on you, shall we, to your brothers. And your sisters, hear me again. Deuteronomy 23, verse 19. 
for Israel, Jacob, Judah, a.k.a. the Jew shall not lend on you shall grip to your brothers, to your brothers and your sisters. You shall grip of money. No, you shall grip of food and provision. You're giving to help someone get some food. No, cannot. You shall grip on anything. Lent. No, cannot, cannot, cannot. Try to make no profit of your brothers and sister, charging them interest, charging them profit, charging them premium, getting paid without doing any work. Work with your two hands, that's what the most uh, give you as your law. You say, what is it? Interest or a premium paid or stipulated to be paid for the use of money. When you go borrow money, that's usury if they're charging you interest and premium and extra for lending you the money. Nothing no go so. All illegal against the laws of the most uh, victuals. What is that? Your food and your provision for your consumption. You cannot charge the man and make no profit of the man or the woman because they want something to eat and you refuse to give it to them unless you can make a money off them. You shall reap. No matter which way you slice it, you shall not lend if you are a Jew, a true Jew, following the instructions of the Most High. Let me say it one more time for you. Deuteronomy 23 verse 19. So anybody charging your interest, breaking the laws of the Most High. No matter who, who, it could be bank, it could be the mafia, it could be the man on the side also charging you a fig. That's the same thing. Charging you interest, making a profit from doing no work because you are in need. Not at all. Exodus 22 verse 25. You gentile. The rule was made for you as well when you took control over the children of Israel, you got your law stated unto you, the Caucasians, I'm talking to right now, Exodus 22, verse 25, written by you, you old gentle Caucasians, lend money to any of my people of Israel and Jacob and Ephraim, those people, that he made poor because they were exalting themselves and walk away from his blessing. He said, I'm handing them over to you. I'm scattering you into the Gentile hand. And you Gentile, while they're in your hand, poor as poor as they can be, you shall not lend Jacob or Israel under you shall reap. You cannot charge them any interest as well. So no matter how big your bank is. Bank of America, Mary Lynch, this and that. Same instruction to you. Neither shall you lay upon Jacob or Israel. You shall reap. Cannot charge him no interest. Cannot charge him no premium. Can't make no profit while Jacob, Israel, is poor. Instruction given unto you, O Gentile. So if you think you're going to break the laws of the Most High and run up and down, scotch free, guess again. More instructions given unto you, O Gentile. Leviticus 25, verse 37. Because the rock child... Come give your money exchanging. You think it's a free reign to do anything to Jacob and Israel. Guess again, oh my Gentile, my Caucasian. You shall not give Jacob or Israel money on you shall reap. You cannot charge Jacob and Israel, the real ones in the United States of America, Dark and melanated, as melanated they can be. And the rest 
the house of Israel across the entire planet. You cannot lend them no money and charge them no interest. What you're doing is illegal against the laws of the Most High. Contrary to his law, nor lend him for his food and his sustenance any item you put on his credit bill. You cannot make profit off him. Making it loud and clear so you get this one to know why your economic system is shutting down. Right now, you've been charging Jacob and Israel all kind of usury. The food and the necessity Jacob need and Israel need and Ephraim need. You've been making profit off them. And if they don't have it to pay you, you'll shut them out. Nothing for them, but you're breaking the most high law. And you've been put back on notice. Officially, children of Israel, Ephraim. You got the same message as well. You hear me? Ephraim, you got the same message as well. Brother Joseph came and gave the same message. Still portion 22 verse 29. You owe Ephraim. You owe Ephraim. Israel, Gentile, Jacob, the Caucasian, the people of color. In those you get gain without work? No. That's not what the Lord set up for you, O Jacob and Israel, and for you, O my Caucasian Gentile, which is contrary to the laws of the Most High. That's what I've been telling you. You're breaking the law and you're following these big banks and they have been following the Rothschild who are Jew who should know the law by art. They should know it already. It goes against the laws of the most. You, oh Jacob or Israel, if you're doing it, but especially you, oh Gentile Caucasian, get this gain by usury that you charge to those who have forsworn themselves unto you because they don't have it. My children were poor during their affliction time and you pour on this bad law, breaking the most I law and you use it against them. Hey, dun, dun, dun. Still pushing 90 verse 10. I'm here to tell you. And when a man or a woman desire which that they cannot afford, and you talk on usury, your interest on it, or your extra payment you have to get to give them what they need, whether food, shelter, or money, you tack it on. They borrow from you. You put it on their account and you increase it by interest, forcing them to do what? Pay your usury against the law of the most time. You have been put on notice, even though you're running around thinking that you can do this and get away. You convicted your own self. Oh, my Gentile, my Caucasian, you hear me? You convict your own self. Public law 97 to 80 said that to you. That the Holy Bible and the teaching in it is superior law. Bigger than, stronger than your Supreme Court law. It is superior to all law. Whereas the Bible, which is the word, the seed of the Most High and of the Lord, is gospel and superior law. So therefore, all nationals, of the United States of America, even though Esau, let me throw your business out the door at this moment. You, children of Israel, and even my Caucasian brothers and sisters, you are not a national. The man qualified who this law should apply to. He says, national, our national need to study and apply the teaching of the Holy Scripture and enjoy its superior law as part of their divine superior being. But he said, you are not a national. You are a citizen, a city slave. That's what he made you. And you, oh Jacob and Israel, you are a person, an artificial 
person lost at sea. He did not make you the regular Caucasian people a national, which is a man or a woman, a real man or a woman. And Jacob and Israel, while you were down and out, he was definitely not going to make you a man, neither a man moving up to a national status. So he qualified who this applied to. Only national. Look on your passport now. Go look in that section and see status. And see if you see national there. You see citizen. So he's telling you. This doesn't apply to you. But I'm here to tell you. His dally house and his game and his word tricks. Done. Most I say. It applied to everyone. The superior law said. No usury. And your brothers and sister, Israel, Jacob, and Gentile, my Caucasian, you cannot charge Israel, Jacob, Ephraim, or your fellow Gentile any usury. That's why the banking system shutting down, shutting it down. Don't get mistaken, children of Israel. When you see the word national, there are two types of national. You hear me? On your status that you have has been a part of the United States, not the United States of America. Two different things running at the same time. Citizen, permanent resident, nationalization falls under United States. Get me and hear me right on this one. National. There are two national. National of the United States of America. A state within the United States of America. That's under 8 U.S. Code 1101 Definition Section 21. The term national means not a person, a man, woman, owing permanent allegiance to a state. That's the other national running in the background. But this one that you see in 21, push up front so you don't know. Two of them running and they're telling you this one is for the person. No, there is one for the natural man, woman that is aligned with a state. Only a state can be a true man, womb, man. Moving to 22 of that same code, 1101, 22. The second national, which is a national of the United States. Notice there's no America. When you see United States of America, that's the real country running. When you see United States, that's the corporation that they're talking about. So you are a national of United States means you're a citizen of the corporation having allegiance to the corporations. Where am I getting this from? Did this man get up and say him gonna talk one bag of nonsense today? No, I did not. Let's go to U.S. Code 28, U.S. Code Section 3002. Let me tell you what the state means when you go to that Section 14. State means several states. That's the state that you live in and the one which is a state of United States. That's the one in the District of Columbia, D.C. That's the one that has a zip code, D.C. All those zip code go back to D.C. So you might think you're living in your state right now, but because you designated yourself a citizen, a permanent resident, someone that naturalized or you consider yourself a person, you automatically defaulted to District of Columbia, D.C. That's the holding place for the dead people of her sons. Giving you an explanation of the Rothschild plan to make sure they keep you as a person. But 
going to 8 US code 1101 22 that's the section term national means a citizen of the United States having allegiance to United States what is United States under 28 US code 3002 section 15 United States you hear me? Hear me? Loud and clear. You think these people running your country, joking around in the background without you knowing they see us as a judge, their magistrate that give them the power of ball to do all these things. United States means a federal corporation. That's what you're pledging and you have been pledging allegiance to since they came up with these rules making nationals and citizens and residents and nationalized. You have been citizen yourself, nationalized yourself, resident yourself to a corporation that is in the District of Columbia. The most I said, time for you to get your record back. DC, that's the Federal Corporation. It is called now the White House Office Corporation. Key Principal CEO Joseph R. Biden Jr. You hear me? It is called the White House Office Corporation. Joseph R. Biden Jr., the president of the corporation. President office, executive office, federal government covered under that, under the executive office of the United States government. That's another corporation set up for the United States. The executive office of the United States government. Once more again, the CEO, Joseph R. Biden Jr., that's the president of the corporation masquerading as a president of the United States. Those are just two of the many corporations of the United States. No America in it. No America in it. That's the name of the company that is set up as a federal corporation. And it has a Don and Brad Street number. Any entity that has a Don and Brad Street number is a corporation. A country does not have QCIP number and DNB number, Don and Brad Street number, because that country is not a corp. Entity. It's an actual country. So, this is what I want you to know. That when you are a national, has been talked about for the people, for the people that should study and know the teaching in the Holy Bible. The superior law. It's not talking about the people that are aligned to the corporation. That's not the national they are talking about. They are talking about the national that is aligned to a state and is not and not attached to the district of Columbia, D.C. to be exact. Stand strong, O children of Israel, in the name of the Most High that redeemed all his children back to their status of being a superior, a supreme, a sovereign man, woman, children of the Most High. That's why I'm here to tell you, you are not a Jew by the outward things you do, but from what you do within. Therefore, not all of Israel is Israel. Not all Jew are of the tribe of Judah. Telling you straight up, not cutting the corners on this one. Romans 2, verse 28. For you are not a Jew, which is the one acting outwardly in the physical, in the material world, relying on your mother and your father lineage. You're not a Jew that way. Neither if you do. I'm going to do circumcision, cut yourself off from eating meat, I'm going to slip your penis and all kind of different things. Still doesn't make you a Jew. That's all outward thing. You are a Jew by going within. 
not the fleshly thing that won't make you a Jew. So, those Jew, Rothschild, they are outward Jew, breaking the most I law, setting up money exchanging and usury and all kind of coin collection and all kind of loans. Not Jew, from the sense of a Jew, is telling you here, go in what? Romans 2 verse 29. But you, O oh children of Israel, talking to you right now, you are a Jew, one in which goes inwardly. It says, seek ye within and you shall find the kingdom. Look not over there, nor over here, for the kingdom of the Most High is within you. The seed of the Most High is within you. The 13 in one seed, regenerative seed, is within you. Luke 17 verse 21 tell you that over and over and over. Neither regular circumcision, cutting the flesh off your penis, foreskin, that not make it. That's not the circumcision. Circumcision, that is the thought way that the Lord thought give you is in your heart, which is your mind. The renewing of your mind. Get that new mind to do things of a righteousness, righteous living, righteous use, practicing the laws of the most high. Go back to your mind, the renewing of your mind and the renewing of yourself. Romans 12 verse 2 gets you there. And in the spirit, you are a Christ being. That Christ energy has always been going through you, but you've been wasting it. It's coming back now. I shall rain down bread upon the children of Israel. I shall open the storehouse of blessing and send down your dew on you, O children of Israel. I shall send your manna at that time and you shall eat. That's the spirit coming your way, and that's what makes you that true Jew going inwardly, working your 13 in one, regenerative seed, renewing your mind. Stop thinking negative and all kind of chaotic things that you normally think and do. Get rid of that. Renew your thought and make the spirit radiate in you. It will do that on its own once you change your thought and move it to going inwardly. And not in the letter. The literal Jew stuff that you've been getting can't cut it anymore. Exoteric done. The literal done. As it told you in the Corinthian, the literal, the letter, kill it. Because you're getting the wrong layer of the secret when you just stick to the literal. You got to praise the most high for giving you back this information to let you know that all these people that you're elevating and living all kind of lives, eh? they're big timers and they're this breaking the most high foundation. Allah. They cannot make no money off you, they cannot make no profit off you, and they cannot subject you to any of what they're doing right now. All illegal shall be torn down. That karma has to close people. So who ever doing it and don't want to close that loop, who don't have enough good things to say, that's coming their way. Romans 9 verse 6. Not though the word of the Most High has taken none effect. Can never, never, never happen. The Most High word is firmly determined. For you, you are not all Jew, which are of Israel. You are not all Israel, which are of Israel. For you are not all Jew, which call yourself Jew. Some of you went and go join up with the heathen and start run rackets on your brothers and your sister. Want to know where? Maccabees. Go to first Maccabees 1. Tell you straight up what the Rothschild, the Jew, did. They, in these days, nowadays, those out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded other Jew. Let's go join up with the Gentile. Let's go join up with Baal. Let's go join up with Balak, with the heathens, since we can make money from them. That's what they went and do. And they devised for themselves all kind of plan, all kind of invention to come run against the laws 
of the Most High. And they went forward with their plan to go serve their God, Lucifer, Dagon, in his endeavor to control man during a short space of time. But hopefully he sent that memo out that his time is done after 6,480 years, which brings him up to 20 27. His time is done. Hopefully you got that information and prepare yourself for that downfall that is coming. And you made yourself uncircumcised from the thoughts. That's why now you have to go renew your thoughts. Uncircumcised. All those evil thoughts, wicked thoughts going against the most that plan and law go back to it. Get rid of what you're doing. It's not going to be good when that time, that hard stop comes. There's a hard stop and a hard landing for whoever don't go back into the plan and the law given unto you by the Most High. So, you made yourself uncircumcised, forsook the holy agreement that was made with the Lord and the Most High, and joined yourself to Kabbal and Baal and Mabal and sold yourself, sold all your desire to them so you can make lots of money. But all good things has an ending point. Your end point, your hard stop, your hard landing is coming. So this message is going out to the wicked and also the righteous. First Maccabees 1 verse 15. And they made themselves uncircumcised. They cut off themselves from the spirit and the thoughts of the Lord and forsook the holy agreement that was made and joined themselves to the Gentile way, to Baal way, to Ethbal way, to Mabal way, to the Kabbal way, and go sell out themselves and sell out them people. That's what happened. Can't put it any better. Can't put it any clearer than how it is. If the shoe fit, put it upon your foot. Money changers and usurers, the rap child. Exactly what they are. I'm not telling you they're any bankers or any loan analysts or whatever, whatever. It's plainly as plain as it can be as the Bible give it unto you. Money changers. New Testament tell you the seed, the regenerative seed, Jesus, as it's called in your New Testament, chase them out of the holy places, out of the holy places of the Most High with their money changing. That's the time we're talking about now where Jesus keep telling you, on the Sabbath I did this, and on the Sabbath I did that, and on the Sabbath, and the Sabbath, and the Sabbath. It means it's happening and it's going to happen in the seventh seal. The seventh seal start the year 2000 and the cutoff time, the hard cutoff, 2027 Rothschild and sons were born black Jew. They started up 1744 to present. They're still running under a different complexion. Some of it whitewashed and some of it infiltrated with pretenders. But they were originally black Jews in Germany with their original last name, Barr. That's their last name, their true last name. The Rothschild was adopted from the sign, a shield, a red color shield that they put as a sign poster to identify their business. The word Roth in German mean red and shield in German mean shield or sign. So the name Red Sign was given unto him by a nickname and then he adopted it as his real name. But their name is Barr. They manage the banking business, the economics in your five divine law. They're managing the evil one for Baal and Dagon and the vicar. They're managing the money, the money changing and the usury, the debt base fiat-based system set up across the entire planet. They're managing the money, the economic of the seven beasts as told on to you in Revelation, the seven nations. They're managing it out of the UK and France mainly. They have other offices in Germany, in Vienna, but the two main ones are in France and the big one is in the UK because UK is the monetary arm 
of the triad. Lucifer, his brethren, Vicar, that's the head, who report up to Lucifer. Then it goes down to the money arm, which is the UK, and then the US is the military arm. So all the money, the banking, the business, the usury, starts out of the sea. Those seven bees running it from there and giving instruction to the earth, which is America, North America, to do their work over here. That's how it's set up by the Rothschild and many other wealthy family who tied themselves to the bees. And they are all Jews. Now, let nobody tell you nothing different that they were Caucasian. None of us are gonna run through this part quickly black Jews of Germany those who are just jumping into my messages and never go back to my other messages this is in the Einstein message that I did and I'll do a quick summary of it if you need more go back to that message yes people of color you are indigenous original to Western Europe and Southern Europe. You were there. Riddles of Prehistoric Time by James H. Anderson puts you there. You were there. Moving forward real quickly. In this book, the Germany and the Agricola of Tacitus, page 11, puts you there as well. The Swarthy, which is dark complexion and curled here, was in Britain. It was in also Gaul. Gaul is Germany. Netherlands, Italy, Switzerland, Luxembourg, France, Belgium. That's the Gaul, where they say the Celtic tribes were. Celtic is a code word for dark-skinned people. You were there. It told you here that swarthy people occupied those areas. And it says Gaul. They resemble the inhabitants of Britain. They were all dark-skinned, swarthy people. You were there, children of Israel. You were there. So, going through, if you still don't believe, Go to the muster roll of 1758 from New York City, New York State. Look at it. Got the page at the top. You see, we're born. Germany. What's his complexion? Brown. Everywhere you see Germany, brown, brown, and so on and so on. This gives you the complexion of the people that were coming to the North America, the United States of America, from various countries and signing up for the army. And they weren't all Caucasian on this list I give you. 28 of the people were black people. 14 Caucasian. That is the consistent with all the other muster rolls that I've seen from that time all the way up to Civil War time. So... Germany, yes, they have dark-skinned people there. They were there. Yes, United States, Declaration of Intent. This is the immigration form you had to fill out when you're coming into the United States of America. In it as well, it asks you to describe your color. Generally, if you're from Europe, they classify your color as white. That's a status. The color means your status. But the complexion tells who you are. Germany, Germany, they're dark-skinned people, dark-skinned people, black people are and still are and were living in Germany, controlling the entire Germany. Kings and queens of Germany were all black people. Enough of the nonsense. Races of Europe by William Z. Whipley, Ph.D., Page 394 of that book tell you the English Jew, because I told you now, they're black people in Europe. They were there, still a lot of them there under the quiet. And now I have to make you know that they were Jew as well. The English Jew, slightly lighter than the Sephardic Jew, which was particularly black very black. The English one was a little lighter. We call them colored or light skin. Semites are black people. Dark, dark, dark. Every book you're going to read, going to tell you the same thing. Dark, 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 thus black. So when these Ashkenaz come and telling you Semites are white people is because they know you're not going to read to find out all the books that say you are dark. But this one was written by a PhD from MIT and from Columbia University telling you Semite people are black people. Telling you over and over. Science corroborated that they are black. They are the brunette type. Brunette, brown. That's why you see the Germans coming in on the muster roll. Brown. That's who they are. So you're all over Europe, people. Another book from Europe. The Natural History of Man. 
page 132 of that book. The Jews of Portugal, dark, 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 very dark, that's who they are. And they spread their blackness all across Europe and Asia. Yeah, dear people, so we're not spending too much time on that. America and Europe. Page 177 of that book tell you Herodotus said the Egyptians were black. We know that already. Even though every movie you see about Europe, every movie you see about Egypt, they're all Caucasian people. If you see movie about South America, Caucasian people. If you see movie about Asia, Caucasian people. They were everywhere, but nowhere at all. They were not there. Let them enjoy the limited time they have because their time is done. 2024, 2025. So let them enjoy. Leave them alone. Reading on. Number of Jews that have the greatest resemblance to the American mulattoes. American mulattoes. The indigenous copper color people. As told unto you in Webster Dictionary. As Americans. They are Jew people. That's who I'm talking to right now. They are the children of Israel. When I'm saying those who've been running gimmicks on you, you sir, it, set up by the Rothschild Jew in Europe, they have and they're going to get what's coming to them. All those who have tied themselves to that Rothschild system. But the Americans are Jew people. Sallow complexion, meaning dark, a little lighter, and some of them brown skin, copper color skin people with thick lips and crisp black hair. That's the American, the people indigenous to this land, and they tell you you're from Africa. You not come from no Africa. You naturally belong in here. This man tell you of all the Jewish population scattered over the globe, the one that fit that feature is the ones in America. And he's telling you straight up, I am therefore well acquainted with what the Jews should look like because most of the Jews are in my country, in Poland. Yes, Poland was all Jew, black people. Same as Hungary, same as Germany, and all the other places I gave you for the Gaul. They were all black people. On my arrival in America, I took Every light colored mulatto, every light colored person for a Jew. Why didn't he say, I took every Caucasian person for a Jew? Because he knows Caucasian are not Jew. They belong to the Ashkenaz and not the tribe of Judah. J-E-W is an abbreviation for Judah. The shortening, Jew, J-E-W. It doesn't mean the Ashkenaz. So... I'm clearing that up while I move forward to get you back to Rothschild. Jamaica in 1850, again, the Jews are there. Dark skin, black Jews. I've never seen one before, it tells you on page 15. But I was astonished to see a whole bunch of Jews running around in Kingston. They're there as well, children of Israel. And them not Caucasian. And the Caucasian never come there to Jamaica and sex off no black woman and have no black Jew. Nothing of us up. They were never there. It was all people of color going into Jamaica from Europe and take over the place from the indigenous people of color that were already there. Not no gossip about no Caucasian rubbish. And I'm going to tell you now specifically for Germany, the love of an uncrowned queen by W.H. Wilkins. Page 39 of that book, he was dark. That is who? George Louis I, King George I of England. His grandson is the one who set up the Rothschild in business up and running and make them the giants they are now. He was dark and a gentleman of Germany. That is King George I. He's German, so I'm black. None. <laughs> Royal Discord, the family of George II. King George again, a small man with a dark skin. He was so dark, he could pass for a Spaniard from Spain. Yes, Spain, they were black as well. Now make what they tell you, the rubbish that they're doing, and all the heckling that they're giving Vinicius Jr., that they were white, they were not. 
there were all black people there until the Gentile took over. But again, I'm telling you, the hard stop for the Gentile and the hard landing for the Gentile who don't assimilate themselves to the most I plan. 2025 going into 2027. So hang in there, my people. Moving forward. George Louis, on the other hand, is Hanoverian and he's related. He's the great grandson to King James I of England. Yes, King James, who wrote our Holy Bible, is a black man as well. All black over Europe. I'm going to beat you with this one. Over and over, so you don't come in with no surprise when I'm saying, Oh, the rap child, they're all black. Saying with that book, page 88 of that book, Princess Sophia, daughter of a Palatine king. The Germans are called Palatines, that's what they are called. And his daughter, King James, went over to Germany and married a German king. She had a daughter who then had a son, George I, and he became king of England. Palatines are Germans known as Palatine Poors. You hear me? Palatine Poors. Benjamin Franklin called them Palatine Boers. That was sort of the sophisticated way to say poor, to say boar instead, to be politically correct. But in his book, Observation Concerning the Increase of Mankind Peopling of Country, page 10 of that book, he demonstrated clearly he had a problem with the Palatine Boers that they could not acquire his Caucasian complexion and he was vexed and all kind of attitude carrying on in the background. But they were German Palatines, German. Why they can't acquire Benjamin Franklin complexion? He told you in item 24 that they were all swarthy in Europe, the Spaniards, the Italians, the French, the Russian, the Swedes are all swarthy, including the German, swarthy complexion, dark skin for your convenience. On the right hand side, the definition for swarthy, dark complexion, all black people in Europe. So now that we set that record straight, George III, who gave, gave the rap child their big break, Page 66 of that book, George III. Whoa, he had thick lips. Whoa, that doesn't look good as well. That is Caucasian. And his father, Frederick, was a dark complexion like a moor. Whoa, still don't look good. That is Caucasian. The man was black. Light skin, that's what they call high color, but he's light skin, but in black. That's what he was. Father, dark, Moorish complexion, the man black. So he was the one who set up another black man, another black man to start the money changing and usury business for England and America. George III had just lost control of America, the land, but he did not lose control of the economics. You can win the battle, but you cannot win the one on the economics if you owe the same person you're fighting debt. That's where now the debt master is going to come and collect. And that's what the Rothschild did to set up a payment plan for America, which America been paying since 1776 all the way up until this point. That's what's going on in the background, but that's not what we're here today. Rothschild, Bauer family from Frankfurt, Germany. They're also in England and France, as I've told you. 1744 till this date, they are there in the background running all kind of things which we'll cover in other messages. It started out with Mayor Amschel Rothschild. That's who started the whole thing. He was the one who got his big break from George III and he became the money master for Europe. They call him a banker, no banker, money changer. That's what it is, according to the Bible. Money changer. That's who he is. Born Mayor Amschel Bauer. That's his real name. He's a Jew from Frankfurt, Germany. He founded the European banking dynasty known as the House of Rothschild. Red Shield. That's what he did. 
changing his name to Rothschild Red Shield, demonstrating the building sign that he designed for his family business, his money changing business. Currency exchange, that's what he's doing. That's why they call him in the Bible and others like him, money changers, taking money from one source, giving it to another and charging interest in the middle, making money, making profit, doing no work with his own hands. Has instructed unto him a fellow Jew by the most eye. That's the issue that's at hand, people. But we're not going to spend too much time on that. Moving forward, he's a money exchanger, making him a money changer. And he also venture into procuring loan, which jumps him into the usury law of the most time. Cannot jump out at that one. That's why I read it for you earlier. That usury, charging interest for lending money, whether to your fellow Jew or whether to the Gentile, same ruler apply and he was making some own profit again put him way outside of the law of the most I would say no profit making of your brothers and sisters its banking empire expanded to London Paris Vienna Naples the main ones are in London and Paris that's the one I just walked you through rot when you go back to German translation rot mean in English red in German, shield means sign, also mean shield. That's why I have that explanation on the right hand side for you. Also, again, if you put in English, shield, and ask for the German translation, it gives you shield. Roth shield, that's their name. Roth shield, even though they tell you Rothschild and they connect the S to the R O T H, not Nagasa. Roth shield, that's their name. Roth Shield, Red Shield, Red Shield. That's how he got his name, and the name still stick until this point in time. But that's how it's generated. And then, this is his legacy continuing in the background, but you don't know. This is set up in honor of the Roth Shield, <laughs> the Salvation Army, the Red Shield. That's what's set up on account of the Roth Shield running in the background, but you don't know. But it's time for you to know. This is the man that they gave the funding to set up the Roth Shield, the Salvation Army. That is what they call the humanitarian branch of the Roth Shield Empire. But it's no humanitarian running in the background. Salvation Army, busy selling what you donate to them. They should give it back. For free, the most I said. No profit on victuals to your brothers and sisters. Give it away if they need it. Make sure they have it. Clothe your brothers and sisters. Put food in their belly. Make them part of you. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love your brothers and sisters as you love yourself. Do unto them that which you would want them to do unto you. That's the founder, William Booth, founder of the Salvation Army, posing up nice and looking all kind of manly and picturesque. But children of Israel, all that picturesque, you're missing the real reason that he's posing that way. First call of duty, the man hand is whitewashed. You see the hand in the pocket, it is fully whitewashed. He's a black man as well, children of Israel. But that's not the true thing I want you to see from this. Look at his right hand tucked in his pocket, even though they whitewash his hand. They whitewash his face as well, cover up his eye, full up his hair of all kind of whitewashing. All his ears, his left ears missing and gone. Look on the right hand side of your screen. Ears gone. His eyes covered up with all kind of white whitewashing that they did. In his right eye, on the left-hand side of your screen, they splashed the paint all over his eye, a long streak running there. Ears missing. On the right side, the right eye painted up. The right eye, long streak going through it. His left eye fully painted up, whitewashed. This is a black man, people. That's how they normally do it. They splash white and make them ghostly white. Anytime you see a picture and the thing look too ghostly white, go blow it up. 300 to 500 percent and you'll see all the imperfection from their sloppy white wash 
Job 9 verse 24 tell you they're covering up faces. So the most I was warning you. Look at the hand. Ghostly white hand. Splash of white paint all over the man jacket. But that's what they were doing when we were blind. But now we wake up. So these garbage cannot work. Look at where his other hand holding the book is. Part of it well white and they forgot to whitewash the rest of his finger. Black as ever. But at the beginning, the man hand is white. Not Nagasa. But again, when we were sleeping, that could work. That can't work no more. But this is what I want to bring you back to children of Israel. He has his hand tucked in to his pocket. Do you notice any similarities with his pose and the Rothschild pose on the right hand side of your screen? You got to take notice of this now, children. The Father and the Lord want you to know what's going on in the background. Time for you to wake up to all this nonsense they have been doing to us. Look, man on the right hand side of your screen has his hand tucked in his jacket, his bosom area as well. He has his tucked in at the side part of his pocket on the left hand side person and on the right hand side it's tucked in. Very popular pose, do you think so? Or it's just a one-off. Could be just a one-off and I'm just overreacting. Couldn't it be? But let's find out. Let's find out! Mr. William Booth again, posing up for his historic UK picture. What? His hand again, tucked in his jacket. It's called a hidden hand. It's a signal for that secret organization that they all belong to. You see where I'm going with this? Look in the middle of your screen. Mayor Amschel Rothschild, which is the foundational person who started this whole Rothschild dynasty, has his hand tucked in too. Baron Solomon Mayer, which is the son of Mayor Amschel Rothschild, has his hand tucked in. Is their hand cold or something? Or they have something on their hand they don't want you to see? All having the same pose. It's called the hidden hand. Popular as popular. Is this a popular pose? Or again, I'm just overreacting with three people doing it. Let's again put it to the test. Take a look at your screen and get an example of the longest running pose. This pose been running longer than selfie. Kim Kardashian and the crew have nothing on long-term pose like these gentlemen right here. Everyone has their hand tucked away. Telling you something, children of Israel. Anyone with their hand tucked away, something, 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 something. Won't go into that in this message. Just want to bring it to your attention. So when we put them out, put their business out, you shall know why it is happening. You shall not have anything and keep it in a secret bushel. You shall not Find a light and tuck it away in any secret bushel. Got to share it with your brothers and sisters. Let it be known to them again. Love your brothers and sisters as you love yourself. Do unto them that which you want them to do unto you. That's the fundamental law of the most. Uh, you not go one side, go tuck yourself, tuck your hand in your pocket and hide up with secret. All these men, all the way, from 1400 all the way up to our current time, been talking their hands. Take note when you watch and you see pictures, movies, and images. Know what is going on. Still, this pose is running. We're moving into modern time, and you see, hands are still tucked away. Hey, something going on, and you need to take notice of what's going on hands are tucked away it's telling you something is going on with those groups of people tucking their hands away there's a commonality something they have in common moving forward again still running even in your modern time all kind of people have it musician president vicar of christ here and there with his red box having his hand tucked away as well everybody tucking their hand away Bob Dylan tucked away as well. Ah, Ted Cruz tucked away as well. David Bowie tucked away as well. Everybody hand tucked away. Even Karl Marx, his hand tucked away. Abraham Lincoln hand tucked away. Everybody's hand tucked away. That's why I'm telling you, 
there is something going on and they've just been put out in the public that you now need to know what is going on with the secret bushel. The ones who have found light, keep it in a secret bushel from the people and use it against them. Moving forward! Rothschild, Borough family, the black Jew from Germany. This is the family tree that you need to know. Go back to when we're going through each of these members because everyone you see on this list, they're black people. No other color but black. As you get closer to our time now, they white it down and people stand in for who should be there. You have standings and doubles. So, but they are black people as well all the way up to our current time. This is broken out by the financial arm. Again, London, Frankfurt, Vienna, Naples, Paris. All the sons who started from the father's business, the founder, they broke out and controlled each of the regions of Europe and collectively they all controlled the United States of America and Asia. No money transaction get transacted on a global scale without the London branch, Nathan branch, controlling it. Your interest rate, you see Fed running up and down, talking about they're going to raise interest here and there, and da, 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 rubbish. It starts in London. It's called the LIBOR, London Interbank Offer Rate. That's the governing rate that the Fed fund rate has to go by. LIBOR is supreme to the Fed fund rate, even though they shouldn't be charging interest rate based on the superior law from the most I said, no usury. That's what interest rate is, usury. But everything starts in London and then the US takes its instruction from London for interest rate and London again set all the gold, all the silver, all the commodity rates and every other part of the world has to follow it. That's what's going on with the secret hand talk in the background that everybody's doing and they won't tell us, did not tell us what it was. But now we know what it was. Now we go to this family tree again, a third choice if you want to follow when I start going through the names of the Rothschild to prove and to show you, to demonstrate to you who they are and the color that they are. But they're black no matter which way you slice it, up or down. Plurocrats by George Ireland. Page 32 of that book. Hannah Rothschild. She was one of the Rothschild in the first line of the brothers. The first brothers from Mayor Amschel. Then he had sons. She belonged to that line. She got married to one of the brother. Her brother had florid complexion. She's Hannah Cohen. So if you go again, pull that chart, keep that chart, family tree chart close by so you know who I'm talking about when I'm talking about them. Hannah Cohen, her brother is florid complexion, meaning that Hannah has to have a similar complexion. Florid means ruddy, which is a black person. Ruddy red or ruddy gold. Ruddy gold is light skin. Ruddy red is a darker color. Anytime you see ruddy, it's not no rosacea face man with no sunburn on a diseased rosacea face. None of that. It means a brown copper color skin complexion or a light skin complexion person. So Anna Cohen, again, starting you off real soft. She's florid complexion, just like her brother. Whitewash image of Hannah. Here's Hannah Rothschild, a woman of beauty, poison charm. This is the picture that the book gives you of Hannah Rothschild. This is not her color, people. I'm giving it to you straight up front. I'm jumping straight at the throat right now. Whitewash! When you blow up the picture, look at the picture now, people. Pull it up big, raise it up 200 or 500. You see all kind of defects with the picture and flaws that the whitewasher did and could not fix it to make sure he rub out all the black. Her eyelash gone on the right side of your screen. The man seal up her mouth, fully seal white her mouth out. Couldn't get the black lips to fully join up, so I wiped the whole thing out. Her hair. This is a young woman. What's she doing with so much white hair in her head? Paint her hair. 
make all kind of mess of her hair to kind of put in a texture. Look at her ears now. They cannot get the ears, the face, the hairline, and they cannot get the hands right. Can never, ever, ever, ever get. From all the pictures I've been screening, they can never get those three right. Always catch them there. Look at it now. Her neck, black, some of it white. First thing first, so ghostly white. Nobody that white like the color of their clothes. Her ears gone. A mess. They make a mess of her where ears is. Supposed to be her earlobes, the lower part. They left that black. They couldn't get it right. Cut off her neck. All kind of rubbish they're doing. Messing up the whole picture with splashing. Horrible! Whitewashing. Shame! 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 That's all I have to say. Even her eyes are covered up. Her eyelashes white as ever. They white out the whole thing. Jump into her hand. Look at her hand. The mess that they made. Even the pen got whitewashed too. Her hands on the left side of your screen. They cover up her nails. You cannot see her other fingers on that side. She got a uni finger. They just cover the whole thing. Too much work to carve out the black portion properly. And on the right hand side of your screen. Her point of finger. They made a mess out of it. Even her ring. Her married ring. They whitewash the ring as well. All kind of errors and flaws and washing and splashing all over the image. People, there's no way, no way, if she had sat down with a professional artist with the Rothschild kind of money, he could have handed them back this as a complete product. So this wasn't painted this way. No, 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 no. These are picture connoisseur. Amschel, Mayor Amschel, is a collector of coins and import and paintings. So he would not satisfy himself with that kind of rubbish, white splashing work. So this was done later on to cover up the complexion. Moving forward, Charlotte and Lionel by Stanley Weintraub, page 65 of that book. Charlotte Rothschild, the widow, tall, graceful, and dark. She again, part of the first line of family of Rothschild. Dark. That's who she was. Plurocrat again, going back to that book. Page 177, it repeats it. Rothschild, Charlotte, tall, graceful, dark. Two times it's mentioned that she is dark. Again, Going back to the picture of Charlotte, this supposed to be a dark woman with her children. You hear me? This supposed to be Charlotte, a dark woman with her dark children. This is what they give you because again, didn't expect that we would be reading this book and pulling out the facts that she is dark and all the other Rothschild and all the other people they've been lying to us over the year are dark and they could have passed these pictures off. This is not their complexion. Look at all the mess they made. Look at the whitewashing they made. Made a mess of the picture. Blow it up. Look at all the imperfection, all the flaws. Look at Charlotte's lip. Part of it black, the lower part black, the upper part, they could not get it right. They even splash it up in her hair, right in the center of her forehead, the upper portion. Made a mess of it. Oh my, look at the little girl, what they did with the little girl. They whitewash her hair. She's too young to have white hair. Whitewash her hair, all kind of things. Mess it. Look at her hand. They whitewash her entire hand. The baby doesn't have fingers. What a mess they made. Shame, shame, shame. That's all I have to say on this one. Moving forward, look at the other little girls that they say were Caucasian when it already told us their mother black, their father black said they must be black. Whitewash, and they couldn't get the hairline correctly. Couldn't get the neck correctly on the little baby on the left hand side and on the right hand side. They messed up the whole eye. They paint the eyes over so much they had to make the pupils black and fill out the whole face. Give the little girl a ghostly looking and her lips. They made it black and white and all kind of variation of color. And the little baby again on the right. Give her white hair to make sure she is white as white can be. Splash up her hair with all kind of white paint. 
That's what they did. The little girl on the left hand side, on her left arm, where it meets with her blouse, they messed that up. They didn't line it up perfectly. So it indent properly with the rest of her skin. Look like she have a bicep at the upper part of her arm. That's how they paint the hand. And her fingers, gone. No fingers the little baby have. She got a uni hand. No fingers. Shame, shame, shame. Yes, I'm gonna shame you out today. Shame you out. You've been running around doing all kind of nonsense. And on the right hand side of the screen again, the same little baby that you mess up her hand. Look at her feet. They paint in a new right foot for the little baby girl. A new right foot was added to that picture. No way that right foot looked natural that it was there. Look at it, people. One of her foot, the left one is being pulled up and the right one is supposedly touching the ground. That foot was not there, painted in. That's the atrocity that these whitewashers were doing to the people of color. And look at her dress. They paint one part of it, left the other part the other color, and they didn't match it correctly. She had all kind of colors on her dress. They couldn't, they didn't even paint over that big black spot you see right in the middle of her dress. All kind of messiness going on over and over. They've been doing this when people are sleeping, but they wake up now. Rothschild, a family portrait by Frederick Morton. Page 71 of that book. James, James, Betty Rothschild, his niece became his bride. James, again, one of the main sons of Mayor Amschel. He belonged to the first family. Betty Rothschild was a daughter of his brother, Solomon. He married her, his niece. She became his what? His dark beauty. She's a black woman as well. So if she was black from James' brother, Solomon, and Solomon is a direct son of Mayor Amschel, then what? They're all black people. All at the top of the tree, the Rothschild tree, they are all black. That's why I started there to let you know the entire root of it, the foundation is black. So everything else that goes down below must be black as well. If it changed to Caucasian, something isn't right in the arm. Something smell fishy. Moving forward. But again, she was a dark beauty, a black lady. Again, The Baroness by Hannah Rothschild. That book, page 30 of that book, and page 31. Charles Rothschild, he married Russica Wertheinstein. That's who he married, Rothica. That's who he married. Rothica from Hungary, she was dark brown. Same as Einstein's wife from Hungary, she was a dark-skinned woman. Hungary was all dark-skinned people. The Huns are dark-skinned people. They're Jews as well. That's what I want to bring out to you. Hungary, and she's dark. And these are the pictures they gave you for Charles and Rossica. But again, whitewash pictures. Charles' face, they whitewash his ears. They left a line running down from the forehead all the way down the side of his face, a black line. They did not get under his lip, his lower lip, and his ears, they splash it up with all kind of paint. That's what they made of Charles whitewashing poorly. His hand, uni hand. Both hands, uni hand. No finger at all. They can never get that part right on a black person. You hear me? They can never get hands and hairline properly on a black person. That's the way you find out their frauds that they've been committing. That again, same thing with Rossica. Look at the side by her ears. A mess. Ears, they made a mess of it. They could not line up her forehead, her temple area properly. Mess. Forehead, not lined up. Her hair, again like the babies, they started painting her hair white. All sort of rubbish these people do. They could not get their upper lip area right. They could not get their lower lip area right. They could not get her neckline right. They made that paint going from her sideburn down her jawbone. And you can see a variation between that and her neckline. 
all kind of poor whitewashing done by the Gentile. Again, the hand ghostly white. You don't know where the hand begins or ends or where the shirt or blouse begin or end because they made it one white complexion. No one hand is as white as a white blouse. Never was, never will be, and never can be. Again now, Baroness by Hannah Rothschild. Nika, Miriam, Liberty with their mother, Ruska. We already know Ruska isn't that color. Let's see what job they did on the kids. Because again, the paintbrush isn't spearing anyone. Kids are no kids. Even Penn, they're whitewashing. Look at the kids. Every one of them, their hair is fully white. Kids that young with this amount of white hair. They whitewashed the kids here, made a mess of their hairline, their whole hair, their mouth, everything. Just look where the arrow is pointing and you'll see all the imperfection right in our faces. But again, the spirit of slumber was on us and we did not see these things. The spirit has been removed. Now these things are completely visible. No kid with their hair that young look like that, all three of them. No, 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 no. Can't happen at all. Moving forward. The Baroness again, going back to that book. Because this book has a whole bunch of picture post up in it. Whitewash fully as it can be. Page three of that book. Who is Panonika? Who is her? Who is Nika? Who is Nika? Let me give you some intro on Nika. Nika is the rebel Rothschild who went outside of the Rothschild clan and started hanging out with people not of celebrity and wealthy status. She liked music and she fell in love with a jazz musician, a black man as they put it. But she was black herself of the upper class. But they did not like that she was dating someone of the lower class, a black man. Not white as the European status. That's who she was. And they gave us that picture for Nika, showing a big contrast between Nika and the black man. Nika was not Caucasian. This is another picture of Nika taken when she was 34 in Mexico, 1947. Even up until that time, they're still whitewashing picture. Look on the right hand side of your screen. Look at Nika now. Here line. They can never get that right. Or here line, as we say in Jamaica, chamba chamba, all messed up. Can't get the paint to work with her hair line. On the right hand side of the screen and on the right hand side, there is a difference between the whitewash and her temple area. The ears, they messed that one up big time. Couldn't get the ears right. Can't get it right. And down by her neckline, going down from her ears, they messed it up her neck, look lumpy, lumpy. That's what they did. And the worst of all, they messed up so much of her eyebrow. They messed up so much of her eyebrow. One eyebrow starts about three quarter way in her eyes, while the other one goes the way it should go. So on the right hand side of your screen, the right eye there is the right. But the one looking to the left, that one is chopped short. They messed up that eyebrow big time. Whole bunch of messy work. Whoever got paid for this should refund the money. Moving forward, the French Rothschild. We just touched on the English Rothschild. Now we look at the French Rothschild by Herbert R. Lotman. Page 138 of that book. Edward Rothschild married outside of the Rothschild family. They did not like when you do that, but he was still cautious. He married a French Jew, even though she wasn't a Rothschild. Rothschild can only marry within their family. They kept it in the family. Cousin marrying cousin and aunt and uncle and niece and nephew marrying off each other. But he married someone outside of the Rothschild family. Her name was Germaine Halfen. That's her name. She was small and dark. All the Rothschild women, I'm giving you the wives, all of them dark to match their dark husband. They weren't marrying no Caucasian woman. They're marrying dark Jew woman. Yes, they did not marry no Caucasian woman. 
The English Rothschild! That's where we boil this thing down to. The English Rothschild by Richard Davis. Page 58 of that book. Meyer, Nathaniel, Anthony, Lionel, the Rothschild brothers. What are they? They are all dark. You hear me now? Not was the most conventionally handsome. Dark like all the brothers. Major, Nathaniel, Anthony, Lionel, all dark skin people. Settle this once and for all. The rapture were black people. No Caucasian, as you're being told right now. Let me tell you again. Dark like all the brothers of the Rothschild, Major, Nat, Anthony, Lionel, their fathers were black and their sons were black. All black skinned people. Time for the nonsense to end. Shameless whitewashing of the images of the Rothschild, Mama Rothschild, first Rothschild mother, Gutter, that's her fully whitewashed by the gentile lip color does not match with the face ghost white color not her painted painted over we're not done there there's a blow up section of it hairline can never get much lips can never get much look how they make a mess of the woman's lip make her look like the joker from batman Ghost white with the lip extended further from what the lip should be or where it should end. Rubbish they're giving us all these years. Whitewash of the first father, Amstel son. They done mayor, they did not spear him as well. Made him fully white, his hand as ghost white, his face as ghost white, as it can be. Blow up the image, you see all kind of imperfection. They cannot get everything right all the time. Because we were in slumber, they didn't think at that time. We'll notice all of this. Look at this here. All kind of messiness. They're running that paint all up and down his hair, his ears. They make a mess of it. They're splashing paint in his eyes. Couldn't catch his sideburn. That black area good enough to match with the white ghost face that they gave him. All kind of errors. Whitewash on top of whitewash. Look at his hands. Ghost white hands. How many ghost white hands have we come across? He even goes white his jacket. Jacket got painted over as well. Hand, uni hand. All his fingers join as one with the painting as if he has web fingers. But we're not done. They were not done with Nathaniel Mayer Rupture. Fully white. Did not take the time to go through what is black versus white and align it properly. Let's make him fully white. He even is here. His entire hair is white. Has his face and his head. Don't know where his hair is versus where his head is and versus where his face is and versus where his clothes is. His hand goes white. No finger on the man. None of his fingers are visible from that paint splashing that was done. Even his pants and his jacket got painted over. But we're not done. They left a clue for you. Look at the black mark by his ears. They did not catch that part properly. And they didn't do his lips properly. His eyebrow, they washed it over completely. The man got the eyebrow. Fully albino, the black man, they made him albino. His hand as well. Look as if he has uni hand. No finger. Web him up. All his pen. Pen got whitewashed. Everything they could whitewash, they just wash it over. Rob Joel, Nathaniel Charles. Nathaniel Charles. He's a fourth generation, our son. This is a black man. Look at his black face. Does it match with the hand? Doesn't match with the hand, children of Israel. Use common sense now. Does his hands 
color match with his face. Color do not match at all. Look at them if you wanna line them up side by side. Blow them up. Look where his shirt sleeve is. You can see it is still black. Different shade of color from where his fingers are. And his ring, they whitewash his ring as well. Nothing matching up when I tell you when you put the Gentiles under the screen. That's what his hands look like. Splash all over the man jacket. Didn't line up his hand good. And all his fingers, they making a mess of it. Crappy work. That's what they did. And they got away with it. But the most I say, I'm gonna turn over all the lies of the Gentiles. And Jeremiah is coming up. Where the Gentiles shall stay. We inherited lies. That's what your leaders give you, old Gentile. English rap child that we just went over and he tell you the English rap child were dark all of them not one of them excluded who those white faces who those white faces on the book cover who is this copied up in the book as who as who as who Baron Lionel Nathan when they already tell you Lionel is a dark skinned man just like all the brothers Dark skin. That's not him, children of Israel. They wipe this man all the way to kingdom come. This is Nathan Mayer Rothschild, son of the second father, Lionel. Nathaniel, the Rothschild. If his father, Lionel, is dark, this must be a dark man. His hand and his face color do not match. White him up as they can. Look, they even rub up. You don't know where the man for it. And it's one blending with the background. Rub him out. Couldn't cover. Couldn't cover the face. That's on the left hand side of your screen. Still dark. They made his forehead area. And over on the right side. White, white, white goes white. But they left the face on the left side. Same as his original color. Couldn't change his ears as well. Couldn't change his neckline as well. Dark skin man. Look at the ghost white hand. Nobody hand looks so white. Look at his other hand. Down below. On the right hand side of the screen. They forgot to make that ghost white. If that hand on the top layer. That ghost white. Another ghost white hand. Down below. Would be clearly visible. Dark skin hand down the children of Israel. Images of the rock child. Not shamefully whitewashed. This is Mayor Amshel Rothschild. This is a drawing of him children of Israel. A dark skin man. Getty have up in their catalog. Holding the record. Hostage. Dark skin man children of Israel. Not no Caucasian man. Where is the ghost white as on the other pictures? Where is the ghost white I said on the other picture? Mayor Amshel Rothschild is the first father. Here he is with all his children. Dark skin as dark skin can be. That's the Rothschild original family. The father as the head and the four sons that cover the different four areas in Europe. All dark skinned people. Where is the ghost white? Where is the ghost white face? Has the same color as their shirt in all the other pictures that we have seen. Dark skinned face has told unto you. They are all dark. Not cutting the corners on them children of Israel. We go back to this whitewashed picture on the left hand side with the original dark skin picture on the right hand side. Face dark, hand dark on the right hand side. Not that rubbish on the left hand side. Fully whitewashed of Mayor Rothschild, the son of Mayor Amshel Rothschild. This is one of the first son. Black man. Black Jew as it is. And this is Nathaniel Rothschild. On the left hand side. That white what picture that we just looked at. And on the right hand side. Original dark skin picture. Not whitewash like the one on the left hand side. White wash, not stopping there. And this is James the Rothschild. His wedding. 
dark skinned man coming through looking like a dark skinned man not matching the color of his shirt pale ghost white you can see that he's clearly wearing a gloves and his hand color of his gloves doesn't look like his face color in all the other pictures that we've been seeing completely different dark skinned man and in case you didn't see grandma hiding in the background look at where the two arrows are pointing on the left hand side of your screen guess at the wedding important guess grandma ruptured black woman two of them there even though you might try to whitewash the picture you didn't whitewash grandma Two black women at the wedding. What two black women doing at a Caucasian wedding? If this man is Caucasian, as you have been telling us, they are black people, black Jew of Europe. But we're not done. Henry the Rock Child, not done. This is a black man. Does this man look like a Caucasian to you? Definitely not. This is one of the French Rock Child. Black man as black man can be. That's a dark complexion, man. On the left-hand side, how if you want to go on the right-hand side, still a black man. Moving forward, moving. James Mayer, the rock child, another French rock child from Henry rock child side of family. He is a dark-skinned man. Dark as dark can be, not white like his shirt has they been giving you in their whitewash fraud picture that the wicked gave unto us. Lionel, Nathan, the rock child on the right hand side, black man, different color from his gloves, different color from all the other things. This is a black man. That's the rubbish they've been feeding us all along. That these people, even though they're doing wickedly, they still try to take the history, the history for these people, even though they're doing wickedness. Are you that desperate to be on top, to seem like you're doing things, that you're taking identity of the wicked, you surround and money changers, but we're not done. Rob child by your family. Money changers. You sir us. And they're a business associate. They're partners in money changing. They're partner in usury. We're all so black people. No matter what they come tell you. Rubbish children of Israel. Our crowd. Stephen Birmingham. The great Jewish Families of New York, anytime you hear that, the clue right away is, once you hear they're Jew, they're black people. There is no such thing ever, ever, ever of no white Jew. Tribe of Judah is not Caucasian. Caucasian belong to Ashkenaz. Ashkenaz belong to the Japhetite. Japhetite son, Gomer. Had Japheth. That's the line he come from. Northeast Europe. That's that line. Moving back to the Jew line. The black people giving all kind of trouble in Europe. And come drop off that trouble in America. Page 309 of that book. William Will Guggenheim Admire Gatenby. Gatenby said about William Guggenheim. All the Guggenheim brothers, except Benjamin and William, were dark. Children of Israel, your Guggenheim, your Guggenheim Museum that you see up in New York, started by black people. This family, let me read it again for you, in case the Caucasian didn't hear me correctly. The Guggenheim brothers said, got him be all Dark, except Benjamin and Will, because Benjamin and Will had a light complexion. Light skinned dark people, they're not white still. It doesn't mean they're Caucasian and you have your paintbrush in your hand ready to whitewash those two. They're light skinned. 
black people would not surmise. People would not surmise. Hear this part. Hear this part. Children of Israel. Hear this part. Ashkenaz with your bag of lie. People based on the features of Will and Benjamin. People would not surmise that they are Semitic. They're too light color. Semitic supposed to be dark. Put that in your pipe and relax with that. You are not Semite by being light or Caucasian. You have to be dark. That's the only way people would surmise that you are a Semite of Semitic ancestry. Semitic lineage. Put that in your pipe again. Take note. This is the nonsense we've been putting up with. Still with this book. Our crowd... Page 415 of that book. We just talk about the Guggenheim and all the museum and all the money changing they've been doing up in New York. Let's talk about the M.M. Warburg and company. Compliment of the Warburg family. Germany they're from as well, children of Israel. Germany they're from as well. So hear what? Typical Warburg were what? Dark. You hear me? Let me say it louder for you. Dark! That's the Warburg. Dark! All those big companies you see running up and down with the Rothschild up in New York being the elite of the early 1900s leading up to now were all black people. They come and took your identity after World War II and give it to Ashkenaz and blind you to your history. But they hate the Warburg. Hard prominent nose. Them nose big. Not nicing it up with no stush word. They had big nose. Black people again. Feature given unto you. But we're not done. Conclusion. We're not done. You got to get the conclusion. Money changers. Usurers. Rothschild family. Are black. Jew. Number one, get that off the table. The Lord will not acquit. Number two, the Lord will not acquit. The wicked, Jew and Gentile alike. The wicked, Jew and Gentile alike. Who knowingly, deliberately, do wickedly to the poor and needy. Jacob and Israel. Not acquitting them. Not acquitting them. Third, the Lord will not acquit the wicked who knowingly and deliberately change the information and record of the black Jew in America. Hear me loud and clear on that one. Nahum 1, verse 3 tell you that. Amos 8, Verse 6 tell you that. Amos 8. Verse 7 tell you that as well. Destruction of the money changers and the usurers. You think they're going to run up and down and not face the judgment wheel. Amos 8. Verse 7 goes with Amos 8. Verse 6. The Lord has sworn by the excellence of Jacob. Surely, Jacob, no worry your head. Surely, Jacob, don't worry yourself. I will never forget their works against you, oh Jacob. Jacob, you hear me? Give it back unto you, Jacob. Give it unto you. All those who were buying you for the poor and giving monies and silver and exchanges, all kind of cute with you, making you their economic wealth, making you the backbone of their economic, their shoes that they were putting on their foot, selling you all kind of refuse, food, shelter, victuals, and all kind of usury, and all kind of usury, loans of high interest you had to pay, loans that you couldn't get, because you were Jacob of the children of Israel in America.
that works shall not be forgotten. That's what the Lord tell you. Let's jump to seal portion. 73, putting them on notice. I'm putting you on notice. The Jews that are not Jews. The Gentiles who did all kind of transgression against Jacob. You set these people loose on Jacob. Doctors with bad medicine. Doctors with pharmaceutical poison, poison, witchcraft you turn loose on Jacob. Businessmen, as you call them. Bankers, you call them. I call them. And the Bible call them. You surrounds. Money change as you turn loose on Jacob. You turn loose all kind of false prophet on Jacob. Religious leaders leading Jacob into more strife and away from the Lord and the most uh, politicians that made all kind of laws against Jacob, giving everybody, giving everybody all kind of encouragement to go put them knee in Jacob neck shall not be forgotten, shall not be forgotten. Seal portion, chapter 90, having no money, Talking to you businessmen I dealt with the doctors before. Religious leader, you're coming up in a message. Politician, you're going to have your own message. I'm dealing with the businessmen today. Chapter 90, summary of the sealed portion. Having no money or a value placed upon the necessity of life of Jacob of the children of Israel. Create much peace. Happiness in the society that is coming when it's coming. The businesses and corporations, corpse, dead, entity are tools used by the rich to grind the face of the poor. Jacob and the Gentiles as well who are poor but did not know they are poor because they had white privilege. The Lord shall destroy all business that do not provide the necessity of life or happiness for man and woman. So all them business that not working with their two hands and by the sweat of their brow got to go. They're leaving town, packing bag, leaving town permanently. John 2 verse 14. And I found that's what the seed, the seed, the regenerative seed who is coming at that time in the form of Prince Louis gonna come and say, I found in America those businessmen selling commodities, oxen and sheep, and the modern day one, and dogs, that's the religious leader, selling spirituality in America, and not giving it for free. So, when him come, and him see them, and guess who hanging out with them? The money changers! Changers of money sitting right next to them, robbing the children of Israel. When Prince Louis and his holy disciples, his holy offering him, his helpers, elect saints come. John 2 verse 15 kicking. And they're going to put together their power collectively. Put it together form a small card. And he drove the ones that are selling oxen, sheep, and dove in the temple. Drove them up. And guess what? Where are my money changers? Where are my usurers? Did they escape? Untouched. Not a chance. And when we got to the money changers, we poured out their money. Pouring it out. Children of Israel. Overthrow their tables. Overthrow their banks. All their financial system. Their electronic system. Their banking system. Their Fed now that they're putting together now for you. We're going to turn it over. Overthrow those tables. This is how we're going to do it. Children of Israel, I can't come to you and not make you know the truth given to me and you by the most high and the Lord. Seal portion, chapter 90. First thing, first call a business, children of Israel. First call a business, rebuking the wicked, saying, 
rebuke those who have placed a value on Jacob. Coming to you first. Coming to you first. First thing, your silver and your gold and your fine things, your precious metal and all your commodities that you have placed the value. And you give Jacob Q it nine digit number, investing in his number, not sharing it with him. Behold, I come it. That's the Lord coming to Prince Louis and the orphanim, the helpers, the elect saying, There shall be no money. Children of Israel, getting rid of that, getting rid of that, getting rid of that, getting rid of that. You hear much time I said, there shall be no money. Getting rid of that. Verse 17, jumping from verse 2 to verse 17. When the Lord through his saviors shall come to this planet, shall be revealed. He that savior, he that savior. King Lois at that time, and his only angel, his only helper, his only saints, and he legs to destroy all the machines that hold the account of all of Jacob. All your debt wiped clean. We're mashing up those machines. We're gonna mash up those machines that they're storing and a backup on top of backup for the backup destroying. All of it. And when we have destroyed these machines, all the people of the earth shall become equal. Having no value placed upon the people and on your name and on your Q zip number. Done. 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 Stand strong. O oh, children of Israel, stand strong, O oh, children of Israel. Your time is coming. Nahum 1, verse 3. The Lord has been slow all this time with his anger for the Jews who are not Jews, the Israel who are not Israel, and his great power shall be manifested soon in King Lewis and his helpers, the elects, the saints that's listening to this message and know that their time is coming. I will not, I will not at all acquit the wicked who has changed over your image, change over your image. In Job 9, verse 24, you hear me? I will not at all acquit the wicked, which include the money changers, the usurers, all the world leaders, all the people of America, Pharaoh, which are the president, especially the three last president, the three last president, oh, Obama, oh, Obama, Trump, Biden. That's the three last heads of the eagle that was left. One of the heads of the eagle died in his sleep already. But no one is telling you that. The one that should be running your country now already died in his sleep. But the Lord will not acquit the wicked. Stand strong, O children of Israel. Stand strong, O Jacob. Stand strong, O Judah. Stand strong, O Ephraim. Stand strong, O my Levites. Say it loud, Levites. Say it loud, Levites. Say it loud, Levites. I let the people say, Amen. That's what you're here for, Levi. Sound the alarm. Set that trumpet to your mouth, Levi. Stand strong. The Gentile as well, who hear these messages and made their turn around and stop following their fellow brothers off that cliff. In the name of the Most High, Ella, Yah, Yodhebahuheb, Hello, Wim, Neta, Raph, Neta, Kodowish, 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 Yodhebahuheb, Vahuhe, said Bajot, Kodowish, 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 Elohim, said Bajot, and in the name of the Lord, those Melchizedek, Yahweh, Adonai, Kodowish, 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 Adonai, said Bajot, thank you, my Lord, you have made us know that we shall be redeemed, we shall triumph. Over the wicked and us as your prophet, setting that trumpet to let it be known. Stand strong, O Israel, 
and Jacob in the name of the Lord. Those Melchizedek, Jehovah, Shema Elohim, Shema Yodhe Shema Adonai, Shema Jehovah. Thank you, my Lord, forever and forever and forever. Thank you. Mm -hmm.